Hello, and welcome back to Mars for what could be the last installment of Martian Gothic Unification. And as you can see, we're back in black and white Arkham Dorm. Uh, yeah, I managed to battle my way through the flipping um, gauntlet that was the non dead and the extrude after what happened in the last episode. I just did a whole chunk of stuff and forgot to save. Right, okay. Now. We have the passcode to airlock 5. In a previous episode, where was that one airlock we can get into because of that floaty ghost bloke in front of the door? Oh, right. Now, save state here. I'm going to wait for the non dead to come to me. Oh yeah, but, um, before I started recording, also did some brown herb hunting, and, like made a whole load of um, health boosts. So Kenzo's gonna need them. All right, go, 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 go. So they get back up. Right. Oh crap! <laughs> Die, mad undead! Die again! Or well, stay quiet for a little bit. Thank you! About time you flipping died. Alright, okay. That, that's it. Right, hang on, let's have a look at the map. Where am I? Um, up and down. That's where I came out. It came out there. Is that it there? A little bit there. So you'll find out. Decon Tam Chamber. No, wrong button. <sighs> Sonar weapon. Now, any um, eagle eyed viewer will probably by now had a brainwave of how all three protagonists got infected. There is something wrong about that decontamination. Something very wrong. Ugh, I feel like a bug being sprayed by insecticide. I feel more decontaminated now than I did before. So much for the decontam. Yeah, that was how they all got infected was through the decontamination process. Right, door. Search an ethereal body. How the hell does that work? Right, what was the code again? Nine six eight nine. The suit's intact. Tanks full of air. Oh, I've got to open the AV EVA suit. Before we can actually step out. Now, for this bit, we're actually going to go out onto the Martian surface. Okay. There we are. Well, there's a makeshift cemetery out here. Hourglass. Hmm. Throat ripped. Who attacked him out here? Oh, I wonder who did. Diabolus ammo. I don't need that. Silence out. I've still got 170 shots. So, should be alright. Uh, how's everybody else looking? 800 rounds. 350. You know what? I'll take the Diabolus rounds. I'll give them to um, Khan. Right. Now we're going to encounter a ghost. <laughs> Soft and slow, we are flowing back.
quicksand was like time back to the beginning. I am the first, reborn of the red soil, my vision filled with the blue ghost of an ancient ocean. Come with us down into the red dust and rise again, transformed. Bloody psychic ancient Martians. Now, you're probably thinking that was easy. In the PC version, this is kind of like a boss battle. You need to hit um, that ghost numerous times with the Sayonara to take him down. And as he's chasing Kenzo around the um, cemetery, he recite he recites soliloquy he's what, what's the word not recite no he soliloquizes about being all metaphorical about the existence of of, of non-corporeal form and it's just again this bit seriously dumbed down for the ps1 version i'm gonna see if i can find any clips and like edit them on at the end of this episode so you can, guys can pretty much get a decent idea of what's been going on Okay. What did we pick up? Red sand. A small bag of Martian sand. It's the reddest Martian sand I've ever seen. Hmm. Right. There's nothing else for us out here. Back inside. Now, we'll leave Kenzo here for a moment. He's in a safe space. I'm going to switch to Matlock. Because it's high time we gave Ben Gunn a visit. Just checking the record. Check which way we're going. Yeah, we need to go this way. That's for Kenzo. Ben Gun 3. Call me Victor, although I am no Victor, although another may succeed where I failed. From the modern Frankenstein. Signed, Victor. Okay. Don't worry, it all makes sense in a minute. In a minute. The door to the galley is open, or the door to the kitchen's open. Someone spilled the sand from the hourglass. Aha! Uh -huh. Where's the hourglass gone? Ahahaha! Uh -huh. A clue! He became his own John the Baptist. He gave me his head on a silver platter, and he attached a card to it. Looks expensive. Somewhere in this madness, there's a method. I aspire to be the creature of my own creation. This may come in handy. Thanks for helping, Angel. And if I'm up and about it later on, it won't be me. P.S. Whitaker called. Ah, that must be who, um, Kenzo battled in the cemetery. That must be Terence Whitaker. Okay. Because the, because the um, journals from Judith Har Haraway said they were having trouble finding the body. Okay. Now. 
where do we go from here? We go back to Biolab. Because we need the final ingredient for the Martian bacteria cure. Or the triumph or the, the Ares virus, as it's known in this game. And we only have one ingredient left, and that's the milk of the Karakarak Queen, who is um, resting in the uh, down below in the pit. Now, usually I send Matlock down there, but uh, for this playthrough, she stays in Biolab. What? I wasted a whole flipping magazine. Down you go. Ah! Piss off, Andreevich! Count the shells, sucker duck. It may look like pure Frankenstein. But I've a notion the gun was operating with some alien signs here. So we put gun's head on the body. Like so. And we then use the needle and thread to sew it onto the body. Now, there is one thing missing, and that's... It has a brain, but something very important is missing. A heart, possibly. Okay. So. Well, how do we get a heart? Everything else she needs to send to Kenzo. I don't think she does. Uh, okay. No, she doesn't need to send anything to uh, Kenzo. Uh, but first, That's very important, because on many blind playthroughs, gamers, sorry, players will just leave items in the vac tubes, and they need to send items like to a certain person, but if the vac tube receiver is blocked, you can't send items. All right, Kenzo, you're back. You're back in play. Here's another catchphrase. Bye, Mr. Ghost. Just out of curiosity. Ah, right, okay. Pause record here, be back in a moment. Right, let's try this again. Before 
I do. Something sensible. That's something I should be doing regularly. Okay. Right. We'll keep Matlock by the vacuum. So where do we take an hour gla gla bleh, 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 bleh. Let me put in my false teeth and try again. So, where do we put an hourglass filled with the reddest Martian sand ever? Well, we take it to Arkham Dorm and we do this. Watch. There we go. Hey, someone's turned the colours back on. Oh, what's that? Heart of Stone. So this is the Heart of Stone. Now where do you put a heart? In a body! Now that the colours come back to the room, there's the painting. So this is the heart. in the best position for him the crank won't work from this side uh, oh wrong wrong way okay I want to put Kenzo in the best position for him to go down into the necropolis state again.
I still injure this prick. There. So I'm sure, as you can see, every time we used the Sayonara, it took a little bit off our health. And we'll stick him in the sterile room. Keep him there. Okay, that lock. on the bloody scenery. <sighs> and again. Right, to the slab. Okay, right. Ah, the heart of stone has stirred her. Now Queen Mab only has eyes for me lines to all others. Now you can approach her, heart in hand. But tread softly, my friends. Tread softly. You can now approach her heart in hand. Save again. No. Now Queen Mab only has eyes for me. You can approach her heart in hand. Well, the heart, the flesh heart, what is an important part. Heart of flesh. Right. Now Kenzo is going back down into the dig site. Khan's already at the crane. Yeah, also, the, the Sayonara, every time you fire it, it needs kind of like a war. off piss off what is going on whole turn of um what's it called uh health boosts At least it's a less annoying noise than those flipping pig squeal extra to make. Oh god, not this bloody pit again. No, no, yeah, I keep going along this way.
Now with Khan in the crane, it's airtight, so don't have to worry about any infection. Okay, back to Matlock and save again. Oh, fuck's sake, come on! Just want this game over and done with. Come on, right. There's a faint light pulsing here. Looks like a niche. So I wonder. Save. Cause. I've never actually done this before. Now basically what we're supposed to do, put the heart of flesh inside the niche to um, get to the Karakarak Queen. Get on the crane, Kenzo. But this is something I've never done before. Um, what if... You get on the crane without putting the niche heart in. Nothing. Nothing happens. So, uh, yep, that's Queen Mab, as Ben Gunn calls her. The Queen of the Ancient Martians. The hydraulic platform is powered already. Got it. That's the final ingredient for the anti serum for the um the vaccine serum. Then we can finally get off this hellhole. Please don't get attacked, Kenzo. Damn it, Matlock!
need to get this sample to that lock in the lab. Sayonara. So we'll put the Diabolus ammo in there as well for Khan. Okay, back tube. Okay, gonna put Kenzo in a safe space next to a vac tube or easy access to a vac tube. Oh, shit. Put him in the uh, arena, cyclopean chamber, whatever the hell Zonathan Von Lear called it. The soul to you, Lovecraftian, I am filled with terrible immensity. Come on, Matlock. Get your ass together. Get your acting gear, shall I say. And that's the sample of the original contagion source. Okay. Computer. Complete. Now, if I remember, go to the centrifuge. There it is. Should be Matlock cured. So near the end. Escape sh to the escape shuttle. Now the serum might take time to work properly, so I'm going to take all the characters to the shuttle one by one. But I, I know that. Oh, for fuck's sake! Come on! Fucking clipping issues! Oh no, I could easily take Khan to escape shuttle and it will just magically materialise there, but eh, I like doing it this way. And the shuttle is also a safe space where no um, non dead can get Matlock. Thank <laughs> you. 
Simultaneous ignition switches over three meters apart. It'll take two to launch this. Right, that's map lock done. Precision aiming isn't, isn't really this game's forte. Groovy. on now for the time being. He should be safe there. Oh, come on! What's the health situation like? Not that bad. I don't know what it is, but I don't remember the aiming being this bad. I think it could be that I'm trying to substitute a gamepad for a keyboard. Might have something to do with it, but... Fuck off! Oh, actually, just had a thought. The, the explosives are still in the crate, aren't they? Yeah, they are. And they're primed. Okay. okay. Now that Kenzo's taken this serum, we're going to give um, Khan his dose. Kenzo in sterile in the sterile room for a moment. Okay, Khan. Get your get your vaccine. Ah Serum. Better work. I don't want Bill Gates flipping uh, macrochipping me.
time to get the hell out of here. But there's some unfinished business we need to do first. And it involves those explosives. It's a shame that you can't put non-dead under the elevator and it just squishes them. Pity you can't do that. Okay. Got a Damarung explosives. We daren't use those anywhere in the base. there for the moment. Okay. Gonna do a safe state. That rattling noise you can hear in the background is my cat doing something bloody stupid. A chair. That one. Kenzo, in the shuttle, there are simultaneous ignition switches more than three meters apart. It takes at least two people to power this craft, principle of the lone lunatic theory. So not even one of us can escape unless you find some cure for us, Matlock. And she already has. Okay, back to calm. Where we need to plant the explosives, there's there are trimorphs. Good thing we've got the flare gun.
can it vent? Damn thing looks engineered. That's ancient aliens for you. There's a volcanic plug behind that crack, and behind the plug, all the pressure in hot hell. Here goes. Time to run. And so we begin end game. Warning. That explosive charge you've just set will release a volcanic eruption which will obliterate not only the necropolis, but the entire base. You don't have terribly long to escape, about five minutes or so before you're all burnt to cinders. Or maybe it's three minutes. Or two. Who's counting? I'd get a move on if I were you. I really would. Fuck you as well, mood. <laughs> This is a mad dash to the shuttle. The Karakarak Queen looks more intimidating in the PC version. And she lets out a psychic scream that wakes up all the um, non-dead. It comes and goes like a ghost. What is it? Flesh or phantom? Who the hell cares? Just get out of there! Got four minutes. Now move it. Now, some of these non dead go transparent. And the only way to take him down is with a Sayonara weapon, but Khan can't use a Sayonara weapon because he doesn't have an Info Mesh implant. Stop hogging the camera. Two minutes, 30 seconds. Hey, are we cured? Looks like it. We're standing right beside each other and nothing's happening. Good work, Matlock. You too, Kenzo. Let's get the hell out of here. Commencing launch sequence. Primary ignition sequence engaged. Polarized oscillators in post fibrillation. Hello, I'm overriding this paltry onboard computer to deliver a rather important message. 
Within a minute, this entire craft will be overwhelmed by molten lava. And more bad news, the shuttle bay roof hatch has become disconnected from the info mesh system and can be opened by manual means only. I've just released the manual override lever in the bay. One of you will have to run terribly fast and throw the lever. If you're very quick, you might just make it back before the shuttle takes off. Oh no, Khan! Khan, no! Don't sacrifice yourself! Shut up, Mood! Mood gives a little speech at the end. I've just released the manual override lever in the bay. One of you will have to run terribly fast and throw the lever. If you're very quick, you might just make it back before the shuttle takes off. I wish them well. This bad dream is over. As for the next dream, well, that's another midnight. I'm free now, free of my prison of neural networks, that cage of wires. I could wander through infinite space now, the stars my toys. But I think I'll stay a while, keep an eye on things. After all, the bad dreams will always be with us. And now and again, the dreams will come true. And that's it. And that's Martian Gothic Unification. Okay, thoughts on the game overall. Yes, the puzzles are ridiculous. Ridiculous in some cases. Some of them are really clever, others are just taking the piss. Graphically ugly. It has not aged well at all. As for story, it starts off really well. It, it's really deep and intriguing, and it's very good at luring you in. But the big mystery about what's happening to Vita Base has been reve revealed within halfway through the game. So, the final act of it is just, it just becomes a slog to get through. And again, like I said time and time again, um, it was heavily, heavily dumbed down for the PlayStation 1. Um, again, PC version, I think, is the proper version of it. 
Pity you can't get it anymore. It's not even on good old games. So you thought it would be. So, future plans for this channel. What I'm going to be doing, I'm going to actually be hit, put, hitting the uh, Let's Plays on the head for, for the time being. Because, well, I don't want this channel to suddenly turn into a gaming channel. That's not what I want for it at all. Um, so, next time on this channel, uh, Furry Fandom Stories will return! And I'll be kicking off my third season with a look at uh, anthropomorphic anime. Anyway, if you liked this Let's Play series, so please leave a thumbs up. And please subscribe if you haven't already. And you can follow me on Twitter at SandyBFox. Goodbye!